Hello, I'm William Torgerson, and this tutorial is related to using your writing territories uh, to find scholarly articles on the St. John's University databases that you might want to read. Um, working towards the question of what do you want to investigate, uh, the paper that you write, and then working toward the documentary film that you'll finish the class with. So if I go to St. John's, Univers St. John's University, homepage, I go to Academics and Schools, and I can go to Libraries, and I can click on Databases A to Z, and these are all sorts of different databases, and I go, uh, I'm heading towards EBSCO, which is a good place to get started. And so just follow along on these clicks. Now, this is where I begin to search for articles, and uh, I can click on Full Text, and I can and that means that when I get an article, I'll be able to read it right away instead of have to look it up or not be able to find it. And in scholarly peer-reviewed journals, that will take out uh, you know, something like People Magazine or even a newspaper article. And you'll be getting journals where um, the articles have been reviewed by experts in the field who agree that the article should be published. And rather than totally, well, if I go to the writing territories, I've had you fill out a version of this on your blogs, topics I know a lot about. Let's just say that you put the um, Jersey Shore there. Eh, you may or may not find articles on the Jersey Shore here, but you probably, you might, I would imagine, reality television. And so I'm not, I'm not really focused on looking for something uh, in particular, but I'm open to the idea that I'm going to d discover something I want to read about. Um, does reality backbite physical, verbal, and relational aggression in reality television programs? So let's say that um, this article interests me. Then I can click on PDF full text. And when you either, you'll have two assignments to do depending on what course you're in. Um, you'll have to print out this article, read it, and mark it up with your pen about things that are interesting to you and turn it in, or you'll have to do what's called a um, research diary entry where you'll read this, you'll pick out favorite lines, and you'll do some journaling about it. So when I have this, um, I can save this to my computer and read it when I want to. I can print it out. Uh, I can also email it to myself. And so um, th I guess that's probably all you need to know. Um, and so the thing I'm asking you to do is just to keep, to bounce around here, um, roles, identities. Uh, possibly I could say, um, you know, maybe I am a, Nor a Norwegian and I click and I see I see what comes up and I, you know, if that's one of my identities or I'm a father and I have daughters and I see what articles come up and I'm kind of browsing um, and, and one thing I haven't done here is um, I didn't recheck the full text and scholarly journal. So that's all, that's all I'm asking you to do is to bounce back and forth, you know, I could bounce back and forth between my writing territories uh, in the back of my mind, I know that I want to, I'm looking for a paper where I'm going to kind of tell a personal story, something like um, I'm a sports management major, or I love to skateboard in my free time, or I'm obsessed with celebrities' lives, whatever that little personal connection is, and I'm wanting to combine that with uh, some reading I do here on the databases. You don't, I mean, that's, that's in the back of your mind, that's what you're doing now, but the most important thing is that you're using your writing territories to find uh, articles that you want to read for class.